I'm David Chu. I'm Megan Pickett. And, and this, this is Salty, Salty Jobs. Jobs. I'm Megan Pickett. And I'm David Chu. At TDW Marine, we'll be learning some of the jobs you may find yourself doing at a marine diesel and engine company. Whether it's in the shop, on a boat, in the engine room, or wherever the job may take us, we're ready to get our hands dirty and learn about some of these jobs and what they entail. So Zach and I are in the back of their work van, and Zach, I'm sure you didn't always have a van this nice. Can you tell me a little bit about your story and how you got started here in the industry? Yeah, we actually started the company with a set of hand tools and one job, just working out of a personal vehicle. And then brick by brick, person by person, you built your team? Yeah, that's really it. Wow, that's awesome. Talk a little bit about your experience working as a diesel technician, like those opportunities. What is that like? There's a lot of variety from small plan maintenance, oil changes, valve latch adjustments, to big jobs that you're on for months at a time and kind of get to know the crew while you're there and then fly out to the islands or fly out to Europe and help them out of a jam. Where are we flying today? Barcelona. Barcelona? <laughs> I got my passport, so yeah. I'm ready. <laughs> well, in all seriousness, Jodell and David are in there working on the engine, so you want to go check them out? Yeah, let's do it. I jumped into the job after the team had already determined what parts of the engine needed to be fixed. Today, I'm installing two turbos on an engine that weighs close to 7,800 pounds. It's important to grease all the parts as they are installed to reduce friction and keep the engine running better for a longer time. After tightening the bolts, Jodell and I capped off the job by attaching the cover. Jodell and I have been in the shop working on this huge engine. I can't imagine the size of the boat this goes on. Yes, this engine actually comes from a 120-foot Italian-made motor yacht. That sounds really big. So we were working on the turbo uh, that we just installed. What is the purpose of the turbos in the engine? The turbochargers force air into the combustion chamber, giving the engine more power to move forward. And how are we going to actually get this engine into the engine room? There are two ways that we can get this engine into the engine room. The easiest way is during production where they insert it before they build the walls of the vessel. The other way is what we're going to do, which is disassemble the entire engine, get it piece by piece into the engine room, and then reassemble it in there. Well, that sounds like a long process and another job for another day. We loaded up the parts and headed out to the boat in the yard. Can I drive? Yep. Wheels on this side. <laughs> I got shotgun. Here I got on board helping the team install the cam followers on the engine. The torque wrench I'm using here must be used when the tightness of the screws is crucial. It allowed me to set the appropriate torque level for the bolts. Over tightening the bolts when doing major work on an engine can cause expensive and catastrophic damage, which definitely isn't in our budget here. After my work passed inspection, I was free to go. I can show you the world. Shiny chimney. Come on, Dave. Come on, Dave. Come on, man. Oh my God, this thing's heavy. Come on, Dave. I'm small, man. I'm 140. 